so let's look at this again. I want to show you that this is, again, I think it's the cables that held this structure in place. Not so much that it was uh, reinforced at each one of these connections to hold itself together. As we see here, it pulled apart. Let's look at it from a global position above. You can see that this part of the bow tie system, I would call it because it crosses over each other, this is in place. It's in place and a pivot point is created here and these are dual there, one underneath the other. Here's the other one there that what did, uh, when this went down it kicked it out. I think it created a nice little cantilever action to pull itself out of the base here. The base plates have its own little story to tell because they don't even have, you don't see this all ripped apart. They weren't even, it's like it wasn't even designed to grab hold of. You can see it down here. This this post in a in a significant amount. It was all uh, theoretically to be in compression, right? And the compression, I believe, was created by these cables here to pull this down, which puts it, you know, where you don't need to have so much of a overturning uh, action, uh, like a, a, re a post that you put in the ground to hold it, a base cap that these caps are just very, very, uh, my words, insignificant because they don't have ability to stop the overturning. The overturning is never supposed to happen because it's supposed to be always in compression, I believe. And again, this is this little bow tie system, if you will. See it, how this is all in one piece out to the, out to the peak. So here's our rotation point here where you can see the bend in it. Obviously, you see the direction of it. But you can see the bend the bend is mirrored with the bending here. So they appear to to be to have gone down together. Let's look at a couple other images I have loaded up here. So here it is here. And this is about the same as that, except for when this uh, you know failed, it had a little more deformation, if you will. But they're the same. There's your there's your bending moment here. Same as any other other the other end here, your bending moment there, and a twisting action, bending moment there, rotation action, same thing here. And I talked about how the other one fell to the ground below. And what I want to talk about are nails. It's like they used a giant spike to hold these together, and they didn't use any other redundancy like huge plates, truss plates on the outside. As you can see, even this plate is just insignificant. I found the images down here now, and it's just a, the plate came right off. The bolt, and there's the plate there, I sounded another, I think I lost it now, I don't know if I'll be able to find it in these images, I don't know where they are. Um, these, these connections here, I thought they would be some hidden engineering hiding behind them. No, the connections are pretty much look like just little pockets, like you put on a deck, you just, you know, tr like little truss hangers, you throw it in there, clamp it together and, you know, have a nice day. It's, it's like the redundancy is, is nil. This is what it looks like now that we're, from this profile. You can see it's not quite flat. It has, it's actually standing up on its side, whereas we see in the other image, it looks like it's almost flat, doesn't it? In reality, remember photography, it's really up on its side, and there's the bow tie action going on. And that's a fracture there, all, all because of the impact. Let's not read too much into that. Here's a better shot of it. Again, um, I don't have the exit uh, picture down there, but the they just came apart because they weren't interlocked. As you can see, they almost look like you can put them back together again. The the the, the butted ends of this system, it's not really destroyed. You know, a few of them are broken up. But I was looking for some gusset plates that would really tie all this together. This one's it's got some action there where it's it's tied. This one fractured. Right outside the gusset plate when it did the impact. This one is bowed or uh, bent. This one stayed intact. There's the cable I talk about, the cable that I think failed, and I showed you that in a previous video. Uh, maybe I'll show maybe I'll roundabout circle on that one again and get to it again. Let's go to the uh, let me come over with two shots. Alright, so this is when they were putting it up. This is the the uh, the inner one and then the outer one goes on the outside. I know it's the inner one because there's the inner inner location. It's kind of, and there's there the, already there's the post tensioning 
added to it. These cables are not decorative, in my opinion. Of course, I don't know the engineering on this, but I can imagine it's to stop this from left and right, falling left, nor left and right. It, it appears to be symmetrical. You know, you have to measure it from here to there and here to there and survey it. It's got to be, it's got to be symmetrical, or you're going to create a torque action when you clamp this down. And this also creates a sliding action on these plates. These plates aren't really. You see how they put it on an angle where, the, where you, when you start the compressive action, here it is here too, of pulling down on it, it would lock it in like an abutment. So I think that's the intent of this, how this works. And if you look at it, this just crisscross, comes across, and then back over, twist, and comes down this side. So the opposite of this one is over there, and the opposite of this one is over here. They're not on the same side. Watch it go up. And let's zoom in. Right, let's zoom in. Right, I got that backwards. Hold on. So coming from here. Coming from here. And the, the low path, I, I believe, switches off right about here, hand off, and then comes down here and hands off in this. In this, I'm um, sorry, so I've got to get this right. And hands off inside this this uh, connection here, and goes down again. So let's just look at it as separate legs. So here's one leg going up here, and the opposite leg because the angle is shooting away, it wouldn't be over here. But the opposite leg would be this leg, the the opposing leg. All right. So then we would just like to just to tie over, but it doesn't do that. And the other section is just dropped on. Is this piece here? So this is where this will help you see it. So this is another section. This double bow tie. Wishbone, there we go, wishbone, how about that? This wishbone, I'm recording, and it's amplifying in the background. So this is like a wishbone idea. See how these two lock in? And then these two lock in. At the base here, this locks in. This one, these two go together, and these two go together. Now, let, and you can verify that with the collapsed images, you see that the rotation takes place here. Also, I believe this is the, this might be one of the wishbones, like this piece might be that one now let's go ahead i think i looked into a couple of these images not all of them yeah there we go so it's pretty big timber that they that they tie together um and it looks like it's treated material that's why you have that that going on in there the uh looks like ridges knots this is what really has me this this detail looks like you can see through it it's uh i said it looks like you can see through it in the other one too but now, maybe it's solid steel and I'm getting reflection. Angle of incidence is called. You know, the lighting is, is throwing me. But nevertheless, this is a weird, odd system because they both have to be equally being pulled on to keep that compressive moment going because the cables are sharing. They're not They're not two different... They're not a cable, cable separate dedicated cables for the bottom one and dedicated cables for the top. It appears at this point they decided to share... And boy, I can imagine you've got to get that right or you're going to have some slack in one of these. Um, even though you're pulling down on the whole coupling, maybe the coupling's really not applying that compressive load as you would like to this one as opposed to the inner one and vice versa. Um, here it is again. And this is what I was saying. Maybe it's not see-through, but maybe it is. This is, I'm still, you know, that one, I'd like to see the close, a better, a better detail than that. It looks like it's definitely notched and like you can see through it you know right about like they never meet see the wood and the wood there it looks like they're not meeting but I'm saying it's not solid um, solid block of, uh, of uh, billet material if you will or welded up material so I'm thinking what if here's my other version of it what if you keep pulling down on this and it works and as the bridge sways, it creates more force there because of the wind force. It creates more force in your cable, which then creates a buckling action inside your U-shaped. I mean, i got to look at that different U-shaped design. Oh, now you just created slack in your cable, and also you broke one cable. And there's times four cables here. And you're, because this is, remember like the concrete I show you guys how you make a staple? If you got a crack at the top, you've got to close the crack up also for it to behave like a solid piece of material again. So this is this is that staple, if you will, and they're using the 
the, the rigidity of it to keep these apart, but they're also pulling down on it, which creates a, a force that's trying to close it up. So you would think they would have some type of block, blocking here, uh, like a steel, a steel um, um, fillet. How about that? And again, this is that shape. So I, I think the idea behind it is, well, we don't need too much anchoring. That's why we just got this little light little corner here. And that's going to be part of the reaction. It might kick out. So that's what put this little corner on here. Because, you know, we don't want, we want it to be at least, you know, we don't want to spend the extra money on the extra material. We don't see the forces going in that direction. Obviously, I didn't see the forces in this collapse. Or the fracturing of it. It was making noises. Oops. So here, oh, no, I did not see these images. Here is a much better view of it. So it does come up and sway over and come down the other side and back over here, uh, opposing. So this one comes up. This comes up, and then it's, it's like it's scarfed. This one's scarfed back into here, but low path-wise. This one hits this plate. These two are together, and it, it, it goes off two different directions. But it looks visually like the low path would go... Like this one would come straight down. But it's going to share both of these because they're bonded together. Now, let's go. So we go there. We come up. It does the same thing again. Double connection. Butting against there. So you really need these butted connections to perform. To really be locked in. And I swear I saw what, to, what appear to be spikes. So not actually like long lag screws and integral bolts. And this across here, I, it looked like it was dove, dovetail, but nah, not really. It looks like it just fits in there now. All right, looking at it from here, now I get to see the cabling system. So one of these came off, but yet we saw two of them already. We Even in the collapse, we see two of these. This is that design here. Oh, here it is. So this is that. There's up and down. So is that the one off the uh, ceiling? Well, here's the ceiling one right there. So where is the question, where is the, uh, and there's two of them accounted for, where is the, uh, so there, there looks like, you know, four, uh, there's four connections here, but it looks like it might be one, one um, piece of steel it's grabbing into. Let's see if we can get closer to that. Yeah. Yeah, I can see where you're pulling down on one of these and you're not pulling down the other one. Because you've got it, you only got one connection they're pulling on, and that's got to uniformly compress this into the abutments, both of them at the same time. And it's wood, so it has the capability of expanding and contraction. I don't know the stability of it. And then it's got these joints that it can also slide off of. It's, wow, this is uh, this requires also that this remain as you're pulling down, this wants to push it down into here, but it also wants to fold it in so it also wants to do this let's do your imagery so it also wants to do as it pull, wants to pull down here it also wants to pull this down and pull this one down so that that's the forces are on it like that and for it not to do that you have to maintain this joint that joint has to be maintained and it's got to be maintained times two, the one top and one at the bottom. Because if one starts rotating, it's connected here at this double connection. It's going to want to pull on both of them. And, you know, not, not for free. It's not going to let one, um, let's see, don't save. It's not going to let one go away with that. Let's see what else we got above here. Yeah, see, there's the connect. there's the rotation there off that joint and the same thing off of there. So we so again I'm back at the cables failing, and simply the well well, well cable we saw the, the the stress cable that broke. That broke to some degree, and that put the allowed the torque action to happen because the other one's still pulling more. Let's see if it shows in this one. Yeah, this one, this one here. We see the cable is is fractured, pretty much down to a you know a couple of strands, and. At that point, the load transfers to the other cables, or the other cables pull, or it's no longer in equilibrium, it's no longer pulling equally, and it pulls it over, and this probably just popped out with these bolted connections that you're using, this kind of weird the connections. Now, can I get the strain cable leaning over, and then 
um, it's pulling it yanks it when it's yanking that this cable then um, snatches on this block if you will and pulls it out and then this is where we get the fractured cables um, and it, it, this would make that moment further down instead of being here stretching or elongating we would like to see that it it chose to pull the steel there mm, that's a tough one on me to to say that that's where the moment was created unless it happens to be going across a railing and everything else and I don't see that happening that was thrown over here though that wasn't laid there so it was uh it was holding on for a moment before when this when it got when it got released and it came flying over into the air and landed like this on the deck this cable still had the kinetic energy to whip itself and look like that let's just connect it at the other end there and then it might have yanked it back as it was trying to go let's see if we can see it so see i can't quite trace it it looks like it so this is the loop yeah it might be it might be over here so it might be two of them up there this might have been the other one it was up top so this was closer to the top then. Well, here are the ones at the bottom, all right? So they're there, one and two. And as I understand it, there's only two of them, as I, as I understand it, meaning looking at the multiple images of this structure. There's the, these two are in place. This one is not. This one is not, and it, it I, I would, let me move around the chair a bit. I'm guessing it was there. Hey, Shadow. I'm guessing it was there. Now let's look at these joints again. See how it comes out there? Po it's just pocketed in. Now I did see it looked like a little bit of a taper on them. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at with that. Let me, let me go out. Let me go up, up a little bit. Here is it lit. Those, those little black things that look like flashlights on it. There it's lit up. And again, is that too, is this better now? Does it have too dedicated? Yeah, it might be dead. They might just, it might be an illusion on my part. And it might go right through this bow tie, if you will, and grab that one. And go down there. That doesn't make sense though. Because it would have to, they're going down on the same side. See how two go on that side, two go on that side? So these have to be connected to keep this from going. Because if you only had it on one, you would be tightening this cable, just pulling it over. It would fall over. So these two have to be connected at this point then. And one pulls to the right, one pulls to the left. And equal, and equal capa uh, or capacity doesn't allow it to shift left nor right, if we can imagine. And I'm considering this left and right. You can consider it north, south, west, or east, however you want to orient um, later on. If you want to change your orientation, you sure can. Okay. So obviously these have different moments because this one is, they're not, they're just, start, they're just not in the same plane. This one's higher than that one. That one's higher than this one. You know, they're just, they may look the same, but they're not. This is ultimately higher. <sighs> So this one, it, it, it's, it's in this connection. Oh, I want to see that connection again. Remember I said that one of my theories is that if the connection's open and it might have just buckled, buckled and that allow it to uh, slack the cable. But the cable broke. Slack the cable. Okay. Slack the cable, begin its rotation. As it begin its rotation, that cable could have been wanting to hold on. And that's when it gets this fracture right about here. It uh, breaks. Um, it was going that way, any direction, in that way anyway. It rips off, rips out of this, this one or this one or that one. Um, it was the further one away, wasn't it? So it rips out of this one, so the bottom one it looks like. And it's already going that way, and it gets land, it lands right here, and it's part of the cable whips around and lays around it. Let's take it. Let's see if we can find it more. All right, um, there's these abutments. Um, wood versus concrete, no big deal. Oh yeah, there it is. There's the one I said that I saw it. So there's the plate, not much at all. The whole plate got torn off, which means what? The plate was bolted down and the bolts didn't last. There it is. And these bolts just popped off. Look at them. Well, that's the overturning moment to protect it. But in this case, uh, this plate stayed on with this wood and it just ripped, just ripped the bolts right out of its connection. Again, this was supposed to be in compression. Not these bolts were not designed. It was their intent was not to uh, to um, hold it from overturning. The cables, I think, does, does all the overturning of this. There it is. This is what I was talking about. I knew it over right here. It just looked like giant damn. Uh, um, 
I mean, they may be screws, but they look like just giant. Uh, they are there. There's an angle turn one. Oh, they put them in the same plane. You guys know how I feel about this? How when you put bolts and screws and any anchors in the concrete all in the same line, that's a good way to create a shear plane. And look at that. We got all these anchors here in line. The thing, the one to fracture, the one to fail, it shows that as the weakest point because it's dissected. It makes a construction joint, a control joint. That would be this one over here, I believe. We'd probably look at the other side of this and where these four bolts are, or four dissected rods, they would be right here where the split is. Okay, and there it is going down there. I saw these curve cuts that's here also. See that cut? That's where the steel fits in. So this all depends on the steel holding it together. Looks like it's galvanized. There's some extra strapping on it that that uh, appears. I don't, I don't know where it would anchor on that. Um, down here. Here it is. So it bends and goes down. So there, it's down in there. Um, I don't know how they engage it. In other words, how do they engage it? Mean how do they use it? You know, it doesn't look like it's any shearing going action going on here. So as far as it coming out. Okay, there it is. There's engagement there. So they use these spikes. These spikes. Oh, okay, I see it now. Rotate this spike back underneath for this plate. And it goes through this hole here. Nah. Maybe. It's about the same spacing. May oh, there it is. There's it on top. There's one on top. And it laid there. And then here it is through the wood. Yeah, they did these curve cuts and they stuck this in there and it was supposed to hold... Right about here, though, I should be finding that damn cable hold up, the cable straps. And over here is how they joined the two pieces together. I can't quite see it, but it looks like a like a like a, um, a dado type deal, and maybe some epoxies, and then just a little old bolt and washer on it. It basically doesn't look like much, but it held up through that collapse. So um, through that impact. Let's zoom in on this and look at this. Look for that damn connection. There's the one connection. All right, that's the one. I'm trying to find that detail where I said it's open, and and I'm I'm thinking it is open, and that that could have buckled with the uh, with the with the swaying action of this. It could have caused it to buckle. It it clearly fractured. So what's worth what, what was stronger between this connection? So think about that. This connection at the top was wood versus steel in this failure and you would hope that wood would have lost wood did lose but so did the steel apparently the it looks like it's fractured here that it's no longer connected you would think though if no matter what with this connection if it's going to start ripping apart the steel would hold up and the wood would fail would lose in that in that trade-off now it's not to say that this impact right here could cause the elastic impact elastic you know like a basketball fractured it here and broke it over here and so that that's a high probability i think this is the other cable maybe i've been looking for it comes around into that top and bottom deal remember one's top one's bottom but it's uh i won't know because that impact leaves open a lot of uh this impact even though it's very thin look how thin this is so it wouldn't take much to hit it it's newly done it's an epoxy um re reinforcement and there's one piece of deformation there that shows where its impact was greater. Again, this is uh, this was at the top, I believe. It ripped out. It's Oh, that's the steel. That would be connected to steel then. No wonder I don't see any bolts. This is a fracture. Hmm. This might be the uh, a fail, a failure in the steel. Because the cable has still got, you know, it's still connected. But this is no longer there. I would have to have this come over, smash. Reach, this would have to reach there, which it looks like it looks like it can only reach so far. The outer one could reach, and the inner one, inner one cannot. And my guess is that this cable is taut. Is it taut? And it was able to hold it and create that radius. So as it went down, it created that radius impact. It fractured free, and then this one kicked out the here. On the other hand, this one made it all the way out to here and impact. I don't think this impacted this. I mean, it might be a little rub. But I don't think this, this one impacted that. I think the impact... 
is this one. It's on top of there at the joint there and then it um, broke free and released over to here. You know, a little spring action, if you will. Remember, it's got some kinetic energy in it. All right, let's let's scroll up and take a look. There we go. So this has got some really good stuff here. So here's the plate, and you can see it's nothing, really nothing to the balding. They only got that back little corner holding it. So again, it wasn't designed to hold it down. This was designed to be in compression. Same thing with this one. There's a little little corner plate here, and you see it's nothing there. And again, it's it rotates. And it leaves in that um, shoulder, this part here, this uh, first um, support. Same thing over there. Let's scroll to the right and take a look at it. There it is. And that's the part that came off. As you can see, it's just, they just used some rafter ties. How's that? Rafter ties and these two together somehow are bolted. I don't know what this, maybe there's a piece of steel plate. It's uh, like a flinch plate. Flinch, 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 flinch. F L I N T C H F L I flinch plate hidden there. Did I get that right over here. Just slid out of the pocket. Okay, yeah, it's just resting on top of there. It's resting on top of there. This no way hit that because it didn't. It can't move from here if you follow that. It didn't get. It didn't get shorter and then go longer. So it's the bottom one. The bottom one that did the impacting. Um. And there's my cape, there's my bot, there's my, right there. That's what I need to see. It looks like it fractured. That It literally just fractured the, uh, the anchor. And then there it is from that side. And it forced it into that rotation, you know, like a shorter string. And the arc it creates, and the arc it creates, uh, brought it to that attention. I like that, brought it to that attention. So um, there we go with that. Let's scroll up. There we go. So I'm thinking this is that a fracture, a brittle fracture. So who knows? Maybe the guy get lucky. The guy that warranted the bridge. Maybe maybe someone else did this steel. It's galvanization, and maybe they weakened this steel. Maybe they heated. You know, did something wrong. It's uh maybe that maybe it was just a. Uh, wait a minute. Let me think about it again. So let's see. Now, I'm still getting this breaking here. Oh, but then it breaks off. And then it rips it off. It rips it off the steel. Hmm. Rips it off the steel. It fractures it off the steel while it's still in the air, though, rotating down. So the cable is stronger than the steel connection. I don't, since this can't, I, you know, I have, the, we obviously have this hitting here. This one would be there then. Now, this one is, it's confusing. This is the top one. That's the bottom one. So the top one is this one. So this one was here. It impacted. Let me see if I, I know that screen keeps moving in a way. It's not, not me. So this one is still taut. And there she blues. Okay. Let's go down. Let's see what else we got in here. I'll let that bake in for a minute. Let that bake. Okay, so they removed the cables by now? Because that's okay, there it is. No, that's just resting on there. Alright, so the railing system. Interesting. Take note to self. See the spans? It's a nice size railing system. And here's uh, basically a bottom beam and then a top beam and then another top beam. This top beam took the load, it became in tension, rotated the head of this, this is the head. Com let's see what this looks like. That's just a wire mesh. Didn't have too much resistance there, just compressed it down. But then it ran across this next piece of steel that holds that. Didn't even deflect that. At that point, the uh, forces come, they stop. But this one is another one altogether. And and tension it um it didn't even flex bend this one of course it didn't bend this one this is all tied in so it helps pull it now over here this is bent out this is a full impact let's look at the steel again 
So this goes down, it takes an intention, it would go across the top head. This is deflected though, it took an impact that we don't see the materials. We don't see what, where this took the impact and knock it back towards the structure. So it probably flipped over, smashed it, and what's below us then? And maybe that's where it went down between the two, maybe that's that piece. Um, maybe it's that piece. Okay, we're fast forwarding a bit. We got a mic. We got the mic and move it over a bit. There we go. Okay, pedestrian bridge, blah, blah, blah. Now let's go. Impact, top, bottom, rotation, lights, camera, action. Again, I'm back to this one. Connection, connection, connection. So that creates a moment outwards, but it's countered with this lean inwards. Because you can see the arch is not really, really consistent. If you were to draw it. I'm sorry, photography wise, I got to give that a pass. Let's look at this again. So here's the top one. Impact, released, and straightened up pretty much after this broke it straightened this out some there's a break there okay this doesn't have a break in it so this is pretty much as normal arch right here with this little shape this little boat boat shape see the boat shape going here that's pretty much where it would impact so it was as it went over as it went over it fractured in the air and then I only get one. I only get the one impacting. I don't have this reaching. The one underneath. It's all splintered. Yeah, there's splintered way out to here. Yeah. All right. So the one to the left did this. The one to the left might have impact and splintered it all the way out. All of what else do I have out here? Anything? Here's the truck down there. Okay. Let's take a look. Yeah. Okay, I like that. It's it's uh it's an interesting failure or failure on the splinting. Oh, this seems like it's a different shot, doesn't it? But it's just I'm able to zoom in better. Yeah, I'm telling you, I don't see how this, I mean, uh, it looks like it was just a fracture in the steel here. A fracture in the steel, this tie there, the, not, they didn't, this was welded to that apparently. And that, well, that's like, wow, it's like a brittle fracture. It's, it's uh, interesting, how did they make this? That's, that's the question now. That's the question about that damn coupling. The uh, that connection is loaded with stress. That's the one that kept everything tied down. Um, and maybe had some cycles, a little bit of rocking going on. Okay, this is the different angle of it. And again, here you're seeing the bottom legs, and then that would be the midsection. How about that? They're the bottom legs up to the knee, both the knees touching in here. Both knees touching in here, and then here's the part that rotated over. So is it, because this is in line with the bridge. You see this, the, these guys are in line with the struck with the bridge. And so our rotation, let's just do this for you to make it easy for you. Um, so our ro so this is in line with the bridge, each one of these. See this shape here? It's in line with the bridge. So our rotation is on that joint there. One, one, and two. And that's our rotation. That's our rotation in midair while it was still up. And as it rotates, it also pivots down because there's nothing now. So this is, uh, you know, I'm just proving it for you guys that how it was in compression because you can see it just literally just fell over at that point. 
it worked by compression. They literally fell over as this rotated out to this direction. It broke the joint here, here at the kneecap, rotated this direction, and they fell down at the same time, and well, relationship to each other. And it was decelerated to some degree by this cable over here, holding it as it was going over because it was a long it's a longer arch than when it was up there so it decelerated it and I know it just it was connected still because we see the bent railing here and here with the cable across it maybe we'll see it in the next image oh that's pretty there we go I guess we looked at this one already but it seems so different again it seems so different again um, oh they did the railing Okay, there are the tie downs. What's this? Down gutter, and it's like it was it was added to this abutment. These these guys engineered and added to the top. And here's a little pier cap, little hammerhead design. Hammerhead is that the hammerhead? And so that would have a lot of steel down the bottom, also to stop it from wanting to. Let's see, it would have. See, it wants to pull up, so the steel reaction would be in here. So they would have a lot of steel going this direction. To stop from wanting to pull, pull upwards. And this is just in compression. Okay. I'm kind of crushing on it. Again, I can't see it here, but the video, one of the videos showed it. It appeared to be... Um, that you can see through it. Was it this one? Or was this the one I just talked about that threw me off? Yeah, it's just kind of shiny. Is it like a cross shape? See, my point is you're pulling down on it. They could have buckled. They could have buckled. They could have uh, created a reaction on each side of that damn uh, coupling, uh, the, uh, the connection. Okay. They're the slots I was talking about where they add it right here. I think that's where they add their yeah, and there's your holes. There you are. There they are. They're the holes. They're very close to the edge, aren't they? And you saw what happened at the close to the edge, it just split off. And here they are here. So there's the pattern of their internal um uh truss plate. So being instead of being external, they made it internal. So that's fully through then. They butt it up, drop smash it in, bend it in, bend it in, drive the pins in, and then that's your loading, and then they pull down on the post-tension cables, and these would have to be pretty taut, or you would get a bunch of, uh, wow, that's pretty complicated, because if these are off, you can create a torque inside here easily um, in transferring the load to the plate, um, which would then put the, the pins all in, all types of torque action, the pins, not the... Uh, you know, trying to hold on in, in, a, in the, inside the wood. Wow, that's a that's got some F net to it. F net. You guys should look it up. F net. Um, okay, so and you'll see I just went around a circle with you when I said F net. All right, so the uh, so they're going to lift it up. Here's a little closer shot of it. This one goes here. So here's the one on the inside already. Mm-hmm. This one, I saw this image and this kind of threw me off a bit. So that was from that angle. And then we're looking at the system and you're looking at the legs. See the legs with the, with the base cap on it already. And I guess that base cap is driven. Well, the other one looked like it was outside of it. This one looks, might be driven internal. But then there's that, here's your coupling, if you will, along with this little bracing here. It obviously worked because it kept everything together. Um, here's the uh, bow tie system. See it in the background? The pieces of it, I guess, as it was shipped. And then they just got to put them together. From, it came from, I don't know, uh, um, Oregon, right? I think it was. 
So the fit is not actually the wood here, as you can see, it's clear through it. It's all done in the plate system. And this plate and the coupling. It's not, the wood is just secure to the plate. All right, let's slide up. And again, there it is there. You can see the gap there. So the plate is, how the plate engages there is what's, is what's critical. Let's go with down a little bit. Um, video, not really neat on the video. Let's, let's take a peek. I think they do a flyover. <laughs> There you can see that this time uh, when it went down, the outer one before it could even consider rotating coming off, it was already impacted and fractured it across that railing. Remember how strong that railing is? It already fractured it. Um, and this plate appears to work at that point on that one. There's the shape of it again. There's the wood on the ground. There's my cable right here across there and it's bent down, see it? And bent down there at the railing. So the cable was active, you know, it was able to hold on to some degree. There's that right there. Boy, I wish I could see it close up. There it's shredded. Um, right here is, it's lost some, when I say shredded, it lost uh, quite a few strands. This is still good to go. Part of his impact was that this this wood became in a this part of it split off because it was the way they dissected it with the bolts and the impact. Over here, this is how it's in line. I was saying, well, the bottom one obviously is apart. The bottom leg has broken apart at that point. I don't get to see that anymore. Looking at this. This has come out of it. The, there's the plate for that one to come out. It's come out. Uh, I guess it's that one. Maybe that one goes back there. But again, it's gone. And zooming out. And zooming back in. There they are. And this one's not there as you saw it. It's already lifted out. Cracking my foot. Okay, again in line with the structure, so our rotation was here as it went down and you see the bend in the railing right here, see the railing shadow and then the bend, that's the cable that goes across it. So the structure, the cable goes across, that tells you where um, it impacts so you can actually count these railings figure out where the railing was before and you could triangulate where this is Is it right at that column? It looks like it's 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 shifted a bit See the uh, center line here if I were to use it I would probably say it would be more here. So it looks like it's shifted to the right the cable impact Is off to the right. I don't know the span of here um, But it looks like it's shifted to the right of to some bit per this image and we rotate it might line up and there perfect it's lining up there's my point there and up just there looks like it lines up so it's it's just a touch to the right i would say very slight touch in other words uh, i think it's pretty good it looks like it's pretty let me zoom in it's going to fade into the next image. Um, this will tell you where it is too. You know where this is. You would know where that is. This is about in line with that. And right there, I would say it's right. I would say it's pretty even. So good rotation right there. Okay. This is the end of the video, I believe. Uh, maybe we get something out of it. Let's see.
Yeah, I got this as a fracture. I mean, I see nothing that shows like it would be bolted up. So it looks like it's a brittle fracture on that one to t rip it off. To rip it off, and you know, it's, the forces could do that also. Uh, anything here? Okay. So let's slide over to two more shots, and there is that one, the railing I talk about. Zoom in and cycle through. Okay. So this is a good shot of it. It's it's a bit of an angle. You see it. You see the cable here, draped. Multiple, multiple. Oh, well, we're back here. I'm on the other side. So this cable, I'm looking at it from considering this cable from the other side. It's a slight bit of an angle. See, there's the other one that would be in line with it. So here's the cable coming across. It's a slight bit of an angle right there. This one, when it broke, it just looks like it just broke somewhere about there and fell on the deck, and that's our cable just draped. And then this one, this one created the arch along with the uh, uh, bent railing system so it fract one part one fractured in, in the air I think and that's why it's there one point I thought maybe it fractured here and then ejected itself over here but the whip doesn't tell that story and it might it might because this one has less of a it's closer to the structure so it doesn't have the stretch it doesn't have to stretch that long so it could break here and and pop itself over to here yeah and not and also not cause any damage here because remember it's shorted here this one has to go longer so yeah it's it's open it's open for discussion that that it might have impacted um fractured off and came here you'd have to look at it you'd really have to see that piece so you know we'd have to see this look for impact no impact just pretty much looked like it just fell out of the air. Then we know it ripped off in the air. Um, but again, I have this as that the torque action was going this way. The cables, because of this configuration, it looks like they have to share um, because it's only two cables. It looks like they have to share the one connection that holds both of them together. And they use it to keep it in equilibrium, the left side and the right side. These cables could be something is and, and say they were taught perfectly the the problem is also a problem would be what happens if i put the cable right down the middle it would need even more pressure to keep it from going left to right it would be an extreme amount so if i go out here a little bit at least it, it it gives me a little more of an angle okay let's draw that for you let's draw that so let's do so here's our cable all right i just hmm didn't pull it up. So here's our cable just straight down. And there's the our arch um, as we're looking at it from the bird's eye view. So you'd be looking at the arch from up here. And this is the cable down, straight down to the center of the deck right here. And you're like, wow, well that's pretty tough. You gotta make that pretty tight. Oh, but what if I make two cables though and I make them meet like this? And I make them meet like this. Let's just do that. Let's just use these points here. What the hell? You just got to extrapolate this in the air, okay? So let's do that. Let's make them meet there. And now they keep each other. They keep this from twist going left. You try to go left, this one becomes in tension. If you try to uh, fall to the right, this one takes up the tension. But what happens if you put them too close? It, it doesn't work, does it? It's these are too close to each other they they burn they can't it can't do it it just wants to fall over the whole thing okay so let's just do this the whole thing just wants to fall over or that way it wants to fall over so you need a distance apart that would would be a, 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 the proper distance is 40 feet tall i don't know how why these are apart but you would need a distance that would be ideal now even more ideal what if you went a little bit further and now further now you got some good anchor points 
and this cable system now if it tries to pull that way you've got this nice stable more stable position but the problem is you're also creating a tension inside this joint because you're using one joint up there to cover two structures one and two and you're using this this joint they made this jointed figure eight whatever it might be up there and you're connecting you're connecting to it like that like that that's a lot of stress at the connections right there's two connect uh, one connection two going up and then the double connection up top and so um, so this goes up, meets the connect, the one connector, and then it meets this connector, and I think there's one more connector, but they meet the one. Ultimately, they just they're tying in this one piece of steel that's grouped together, that's uh, welded together, however it's configured. And so if it tries to go left, this one holds it. If it tries to go right, that one holds it. Now I can't imagine that they would use like, say this is the connector to hold the. The, the structure together the top but like a bow tie thing up top there and then they ran this one here to connect to that one and then this one they connected to here I don't I don't imagine that they would they would do that that would just you know create a it'll, it'll want to rotate here it creates a torque action in your own connection so I imagine that they'd want to do it something like this. Remember, I don't have access to see that connection. I don't have the images to show that. You guys can find it. It would be great. Now, this would be more, more balanced, running it through a hook here. So now it can grab better. There's no, there's no torque action that you accidentally created by connecting here and down here. One would be wanting to pull this outwards that way. And then the other one over here would want to pull that one that way. So when you go to tighten it, you're actually creating a... A torque inside there, a, a tension in there that we want to cause a failure. Okay, so don't save. So it matters about those spans. Okay, let's see if I can get you a little more into this, a little more depth into there. There's that coming apart. And you know, it wasn't even needed. It's decorative. You can just take it off and say forget that idea it was just decorative it was just decorative to make that look really fancy everybody's got to have a a landmark bridge a landmark this and that yes you know it's a pedestrian walkway I can't just serve the purpose with that said I want to I want to really gripe about Pennsylvania and and them uh, that bridge collapse up there where it was uh, one of the investigative reporters came out and showed that they that Philadelphia, Pennsylvania rather, um, has 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 liberated four billion plus dollars worth of fuel taxes to pay for state policing, and they said it's for the towns that don't have policing. That's not what that money's supposed to be allocated for. It's supposed to be allocated for road and infrastructure improvement. And lo and behold, I do some diving. You know this road and infrastructure improvement that everybody's screaming that they want, they want. Well, once it gets to the states, they've been reallocating it. They've been finding ways to reallocate it. That tax is supposed to be a federal tax, the uh, state tax for the, so the, uh, the, for the gasoline tax. is supposed to wind up being for, uh, you know, a federal reason to state tax to work on the infrastructure, the state roads and, and highways. State roads are also the roads that the government pays to maintain. So it's, it, it's how it's connected is what I'm driving at. And yet, they did it for policing. Now, they hire all these damn state police to then go around who then do arrest and then make money on people who have to pay for their own probation, charges, and all that. They make them pay for the court system. So they're getting policing for free from the, from the gas tax. So this is some, So be careful that infrastructure bill that they talk about. It's just a way to pilfer money. And that's apparently what they're doing. Now, this was, what, $14 million to get this walkway? Here's a train here. This is here. And it was $14 million to create this walkway for people to walk. And do they walk that much? Is a university over there? These people walk that much? I mean, this is a sidewalk down here. Um, this is a private land over here. Is that part of the thing? Sidewalk over here. I guess that one's broken. That sidewalk doesn't work, or does it? 
Oh, it stops there. Then you'd have to cross the street. Heavens forbid crossing the street. Hell, it's not even lit besides that fancy lighting they had. So you're going to be walking on this thing at nighttime and dark. Yeah, you know the, you know the risk of that. Ending the video, just another one.